I make music because it's a healing mechanism for me, and it always has been. Because I was really shy, I didn't have a way to put a word in outside of music. Music made me feel like there was a space that I could carve out for myself that made me feel understood, and it kind of gave my life purpose. My aunt got me the movie The Wiz, and it's like a musical based off of The Wizard of Oz. And it was just like perfect for a kid because it was very theatrical and fun. And Quincy Jones was the producer of music, so it was it was really dope. And so I would just sing that all the time around the house. And my same aunt introduced me to Whitney Houston. Just her voice, the way she emoted when she sang, was the craziest thing that someone can produce this emotion inside of me from a voice. And I want to learn how to sing and stir up emotions like that in myself and in, in whoever's listening, you know? Let me love you with my fingertips. No, you love it when I touch like this. You're my, you're my, my sweet lullaby. Cause I've been loving you so long. You never let me down. So I know that you're the one. Lauren Hill played the guitar, and I was like, okay, that's really cool, like singing, rapping, playing the guitar, I'm gonna do that. So I asked for that, and then my mom got it for me. The person she got me lessons with completely changed like the direction of my guitar playing. His name was Ken, and he taught in the back of like a vintage guitar shop, and he had a little office that was super messy and cluttered, and we would have hour-long lessons, and he would just teach me folk songs and finger-picking. Along with the folk songs, he would tell me about the artist. They would have crazy life stories. So he kind of introduced me to a world of playing guitar that was very, like folklore, that was mixed with guitar playing. So I got really into playing in this way that didn't sound like the music that I listened to at all, but that only like made me more curious about what I could do with my sound. I started using Ableton and producing like my own stuff in like 2014, which ended up being my album, The Jungle Is the Only Way Out. My friend Black, who's like an amazing like big artist now, he was he used to be like, yeah, but I want to hear you know I want to hear your beats. Like where are your beats? I want I want to sing one of your beats. And I was like, my beats? Whoa, I can have beats. That's how I start songs now. Like I make a drum loop that I really like, and then I start adding the guitar. I didn't realize how much that would change my writing just by having the drums from the very beginning. I used to be like really into like very atmospheric type of things and then my co-producer Sam, he put me onto more like of a dry vocal and at first I was like, no, so I'm so naked. Everything can be heard perfectly, you know? And then I'm like, oh, right, everything can be heard. That's that's really cool, because I'm saying stuff, you know? And so the lead, I tend to have like a pretty dry vocal, but I do like to create a, I love background vocals. I love doing it. I feel like that's part of storytelling too, you know? It's how you build tension and how you build kind of like, build a song from the beginning of it being very scaled down and scaled back and then like, build the world slowly. And I like kind of reaching a climax of a song where there's multiple melodies happening at the same time. It's really like weaving, rapping and singing together. But the folk and country element is really important to me too. So classic folk melodies mixed with current like rap singing and really like soulful lyrics. I realized what felt most comfortable for me was kind of a more understated approach to singing that let my lyrics and like what my stories were be the focal point. I would say above everything, above singing, above playing guitar, even producing, songwriting is my, my major deep love. Which is why I'm kind of able to feature on a lot of different styles of music because as long as I have my pen and I have like chord progressions in that I like, I just, I love writing so much. Oh, you love it when I touch like this. You're my, you're my, my sweet lullaby. I love collaborating with people that are a bit different than me stylistically, because I feel like we bring out things in one another. Like a lot of the rappers that I've collaborated with, I feel like they really push me lyrically to be like really clever and sharp in my lyrics. 
and then I might push them a bit more on the soulful side to like go a little deeper, you know? Like my next project that I'm releasing doesn't have any features, it's just me, but it's like, it spans like a wide range of feelings that I've had this year. It's bringing me back to the realest that it could possibly get. The very beginning of stuff these days has been my voice notes on my iPhone. So a lot of the ideas were just like when I was cooking or when I was like reading a book, which is the first few months of quarantine, I always would just have my phone with me and I would sing ideas into it. And then the ones that stuck the most, you know, I just kind of took it back to like writing songs on the guitar before I took it, put it and put it into any sort of program or anything. And that really gave me a chance to just kind of emotionally release what I was feeling. I just wanted to write songs for my own emotional reasons again. And I think because that's how I started so many years ago, that's my like happy place, you know, is just singing into my phone. And so I took those ideas that I had made on the guitar and I just like translated them into songs with drums and all the other stuff that exists at the studio. I'm just being true to myself, you know? I hope people could see that, people who, you know, give my music a listen or watch my visuals or, you know, kind of step into my world. I just hope that somebody out there will be inspired to believe in their own identity and just like ride it, ride it out and show it to us because we need that. Like we need more unique representations of different people in music and at large. <laughs>